Here I am in America for the very first time in 1983 on a mission to get an interview with Patrick McGowan about his groundbreaking television series, The Prisoner. A dream because the series had changed my life back in 1968 when it was first shown in Britain. A dream because you almost never get to meet your heroes. A dream because an infant Channel 4 television in London had commissioned a documentary about its making. A dream because I knew nothing about making television programmes. With the help of a director, this would be my first. McGowan had always declined to be interviewed about his masterwork, but for some reason he'd responded positively to a two-page begging letter from me to consider talking about it. On camera. This is the story of what happened on that trip. Archives have been raided, unseen interviews excavated, memories long since repressed, some for good reason, have finally escaped. 35 years later, McGowan's daughter Catherine has helped me to understand much of what I didn't realize back then. But like father, like daughter, it pays to be guarded when talking to people who want information, information, information. I took my time to think about whether I should do this. Because as you know, he rarely gave interviews. But what I feel is what he couldn't say about himself. Maybe I can say for him. So that's sort of where, where I'm at. And he deserves it. I've resigned. I will not be pushed, filed, stamped, indexed, briefed, debriefed, or numbered. Come on, then. I'm the one that's scared. Well, come on, then. Well, you're smiling a lot, that's all right.